All right, I have the Resident Evil 3 demo here. This is the first loading, first time I'm going to be playing through this. So I'm going to be experiencing this for the first time with you. And hopefully I don't fuck it up too bad. I'm hoping I get the audio right. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we're clearly we're clearly starting this game a good ways into it. I'm going to assume the the uh, layout of this game is kind of along the same lines as in the original version, where you start off on one day, and this is like I don't know a couple of hours into the game or so. There's also a few differences I see. These umbrella guys are actually interested in rescuing survivors, it looks like. They have a few of them here. By this point in the game, you didn't see any uh, normal survivors out and about. So that's a difference. Huh. <laughs> Skull Star. Ah, uh, Alien and Terminator. <laughs> uh, I'll look into that later. Resident Evil 3. Oh, it's an advertisement for this game. The date's wrong, though. Was that the date the... Uh, I don't know. Can I get out of this door, too? Yeah, what's over here? Up. Oh. More, uh... Biggie. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go. <laughs> this is not it, I guess. <laughs> there was a subway. Well, it wasn't the subway. It was a, a ground level train that you powered up and got moving. It wasn't at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I clearly already figured that out. Uh, I probably should have read that. What happened here? It's like they bombed the place. Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. 
You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. They stopped. They didn't give Carlos a um, overly extreme <laughs> accent in this one like they did in the original. It kind of like a Cheech and Chong kind of. Uh, oh, she's got the dodge button here. How do I. Oh, I actually have to pull the knife out and use it now. I didn't have to do that in the remake of 2, did I? Oh. Waste of ammo. Ah, fuck it. Is that a puzzle? Of course it is. Uh, yeah. If you hear me coughing, I don't have coronavirus, so quit freaking out. Oh, alright. More survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. Oh, there's one. It's the same uh oops. Same uh zombie model that I'm pretty sure I saw this guy in the remake of two. I think I got him. Oh, nope, I did not. I did not. <laughs> ah, fine. Can I dismember them in this? I guess not. Alright, so there are more more than a couple survivors. There are ones on the surface, too. And that guy ran in there, so I guess he's, uh... Wasting all my damn ammo. Here! Look how cheap gas is, though. That's the best part about this. Oh, here we are. Something tells me that guy's not healthy. Oh, fuck. Brought a friend. Uh, Alright. Let's do this. Footsteps for Jill aren't quite right. Audio isn't quite synced up. Oh, look at that. More dodging animations. They can't get through that. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. Alright, I gotta find some way of putting the fire out. Gotta put this out. I gotta find like a fire hose or some shit. Up, <laughs> oh, breaking quarantine. See, part of the reason why, oh. Part of the reason why they were able to turn this game around so quickly 
It's a lot of model reuse. I'm seeing a lot of the same zombies I saw in Resident Evil 2. Son of a bitch. Um... Okay. <laughs> Aqua Cure Queen? Aqua Cure Queen. Ah, you son of a bitch. I'm assuming we're going to spend some time in the police station as well. So, they're going to reuse some of the same environments as well. It's clearly running on the same game engine. So, technology-wise, they didn't have to do a whole hell of a lot to get it going. Hey, explosive barrel. If a zombie will get near it, will blow it up and then... Come over here. Oh, look at that. The pharmacy's across the street from its warehouse. What the f <coughs> This guy was a cop. Hmm. Aqua Cure. Aqua... 9, 1, 8. Left 9, right 1, left 8. 9, 1, 8. Alright. Ah, damn it. Ha! Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, okay. Something useful. I thought it was some stupid ass uh, puzzle item. Yeah, that helps. I'd have reticule anyway. All right. Maybe it actually makes her aim better, so there's less like uh, drift or whatever. trust that guy. He definitely not dead. When I leave here, I guarantee you that some bitch is jumping to his feet. <sighs> Wasting ammo. Here's a fire hose. Yeah, that'll just fit in your inventory. Things are heavy, you know. Uh, I get a shotgun. Right to chain. I'll read that if I have to later. Hello. Hello. That's what I'd like to see. What? <laughs> oh, you suck. <laughs> well, let me combine.
All right. Maybe I should <laughs> read that damn file. Mine's getting worse and worse. Pays for days. Get a shotgun. Room and it's breaking point. Lock it up in the ground. We should keep it safe from any would-be looters. Or shells. Cut the chain and bust out that locker. Okay, so I need something to cut it with. There's no key. This must be the subway company's offices. Those donuts might still be good. Really good job with the shadows across these books. I mean, it could have been better. I see a break in the shadow where there really shouldn't be one. But the fact that they even tried is... is something. Alright, so I'm gonna be back. I gotta come back here and... Uh, power up the subway. Which way did I come from? I came from that way. So I'll go this way. Nixon's Donuts! Or Moonstone. Where did I hell get Nixon from? What is that? Is that a reference to something? Oh, my favorite thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I gotta learn how to dodge. <laughs> Gotta get better at this. Aha, you like that shit. I think I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, save room. Um... Oh, here we are. That's what I want. <laughs> the, um... GameSpot said that he will follow you in the save rooms. But I seriously doubt that. He's not in here, is he? Yes, he is. <laughs> Probably just like, just like the Tyrant was in the remake of 2. He'll chase you around most places. He's not carrying a rocket launcher right now, so that's good. Where did he go? Is he still in the room? Oh, yes he is. I'm gonna be stuck in here for a while waiting for him to leave. You know, that was something that took me by surprise. Was in Resident Evil 2 remake, the tyrant would um would follow you around until he lost track of you, and then he would just sort of start wandering about. And then I ran into one point where I didn't realize that he would actually stop. He could stop stop somewhere and just wait for you. So I went into one of the save rooms, the one at the bottom of the steps near the uh, the evidence locker room, the uh, the photo lab. And I heard him st I heard his footsteps stop. So I'm thinking like he must have gone away. I walked through and immediately close lined close lined Leon. 
It's like, damn it, the son of a bitch stopped and just hid behind the door. <laughs> Probably, cause maybe, uh, maybe it was some kind of, like, a glitch. Or perhaps it was some special case programmed in the AI for people who were trying to cheese the system like I was. He's clearly waiting for me to come out. He's waiting for me to come out. Uh, okay, I gotta see where he's, where he's hiding. Because if he's... There's got to be a way I can get through that door. Because I need to get back. Is there a map? Map. 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 Alright, so this... Where the hell was the... Subway control room. Okay, so this is where I need to go. So if I go right through this door... There's gunpowder out there. I can loop back around. I don't have to go through him. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh, shit! He actually helped me out! Oh, fuck. Wrong way, Mike. Wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you have definitely have time to do this. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> What the hell? That was the end? I didn't even get the shotgun. 18 minutes. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I guess there was more stuff that I could do, but I kind of went straight to the end. I didn't realize I was going straight to the end, but I went straight to the end. Kendo and Marvin in that. We're gonna maybe see um, how they got into their shit. I already, I already purchased this game, so I'm not gonna do that. All right. So my thoughts. Huh? Well, all I was really expecting, and I would have been fine with, if it was just more of Resident Evil 2. And in a sense, that seems to be what it is, because they're reusing a lot of the same assets. I saw a lot of the same zombies. Which I guess makes sense, given how quickly they were able to turn this game around. The Nemesis, though, that seems to be where the big change is coming in. And the uh, the city layout, I mean, a lot of the Resident Evil games have a lot of backtracking and uh, looping uh, environments that sort of loop back upon themselves. Which is going to be really important for this game, if the Nemesis is as aggressive as he is in this demo. Uh... He is definitely more aggressive than the Tyrant was in Resident Evil 2. That leap he did came out of nowhere. There was an audio cue for when he did it. Had I known that before, maybe I would have been able to dodge him. I'm going to have to learn his way of doing things. Uh, I wonder... I didn't play long enough to tell how easy it would be to be able to get around his... Um, to get around his pursuit. 
<coughs> first things first. <coughs> we need to get you geared up. Head up to Street Lover. He was, oh, um... All right. Oh, there was handgun bolts. Did I pick those up the first time? Yeah, he was... He was pretty aggressive. And there's got to be a way of getting past him to get away from him. Because if he's just going to be that quick to attack... Then maybe it's, uh, Working on it. so what's maybe this game will be more frustrating than anything, really, you know? Having him suddenly chasing after you and you not being able to get away from him. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. So, because, I mean, I was thinking, like, when, the res when this game was announced, not long at all after... Resident Evil 2 had been released. Really, it's even launching only about a year after, little over a year after the 2 remake launched. I remember talking to somebody who said, like, oh yeah, well, Nemesis is going to be that much... Can I go back? Yeah. Now, let's see. Will that pursue? So I go to the 2 remake, uh, the 3 remake, Nemesis will be so much worse than the Tyrant. And I'm thinking, like, Ah, the tyrant was pretty annoying when you, um... Tyrant could be pretty annoying when he's chasing after you. Are they really going to subject the person to a more intense version of that that chases you the entire game instead of just a chunk of it? And, I mean, there's got to be something that they're doing to... to lessen that stress. Because if he's just going to be doing what he did, and, um, and you can't find any way of escaping from him, then this game is just going to be terrible. There's got to be something that they're doing. It's too early. Didn't play enough to to tell. Is that guy in here? I don't know. Ah, damn it. How about you, Carlos? Nope. <laughs> but anyway, it's Resident Evil 3 demo. Excited to uh, play this game in a, I don't know, few weeks when it releases. <laughs>